Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Rakuin. Now that we found that metal key in that really, really creepy place, I have my sneaking suspicion that I know where it's supposed to go. Let's head to a metal door. The only thing made of door I think I could really... Made of door. There is a sign in the door. Yeah, read it. I mean, I'm, can, I, can I use it? Okay, I guess I can't use it. So my suspicions were wrong. Oh, I can go in there. Uh, that's where it's going to be. You use the key in the door. Oh, I shouldn't be here. It's kind of red. Red usually means bad. <laughs> what's, what's this? Insert key card? You don't have a key card. <laughs> I thought I did. I thought I had a key card. Oh, let me see if it's under one of these things. You received the yellow key card. Someone left a note. Read it. Joji, remember the remember to remove the key card when you're done. <laughs> okay, didn't do that. So when you get in trouble again. I'm sorry. Oh, I found five more dollars. Cause I'm rich. So let's go through the scary one. Knock, knock. Okay, nothing's in here, good. Uh, bills and tax forms. What's in here? Open the locker. A lanyard with a card hanging from its side? Of course, I'm just gonna take all the yellow cards. They're all mine. Does that mean I have to do this in a very specific way or am I gonna be, f I, I thought that yellow thing was something. <laughs> it kinda creeped me out. Okay, insert card. Oh wow, this is helpful. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted it on that thing. Hmm. Crapola. I'm really lost. Oh, sense has been made. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I have to remove the key cards. Mm. That's what it was trying to tell me, but I'm too much of a dimpus dude that I don't really realize that shit. And let me guess, the third one is behind here somewhere? In this locker, maybe? Open the locker? You found a lanyard with a key card. Thank you. So once I open up that third one, then I can go through that door and find out where Creepy McDooterstein is going. There we go. Now it's time for the creepy creeps. The creepy creeps. Oh, I'm not in control. Hmm? Oh, my book! Oh, that's your book? Awesome. We found it. Hello. <laughs> it's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. But if you want to call me something, you can call me Yum uh, Yuma? Yuma. Okay, this music's not evil anymore. Are you the one stealing the food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? <laughs> I guess you kinda caught me right-handed. Why would you steal from a hospital? Mm. I'm hungry. <laughs> Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait. Do you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets. Heh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Ah, you get used to it after a while. So, kid, are you hungry? I've got a bit of fish head left from last week if you... Yeah. Um, that's okay. <laughs> But thank you. Oh, he, he said it way nicer than I would have. Look, kid, um, I'm really sorry I took your book. Please take take it back and forgive me for my lapse in judgment. All right, cool. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry too. 
Like, take a book? No. You received the rock quin. And I promise as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chef back for all the food I took. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Oh, uh, one more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here. Okay, I promise. Break me and I'll multiply. Become sharp as a tech. But if all you do is smile at me, uh, a mirror, a mirror, clever. Um. Up, oh, up, oh, run, run, run. Oh no, I'm gonna get candid. What in the world are you doing in here? I. Um. Well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area's off limits. Anyways, come with me. Your mom is here. Yay, mom's here. Not even gonna say I found a book. Now it's shining over there for some reason. Mommy! <laughs> Mom! Aww. After you worked so hard to get your book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read Raku to me? Of course I will. Aww. Oh, cool. Once upon a time, ah, voicing. there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisota's Forest. Hmm. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. Oh. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. I was sailing you right! to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizoro. Mm -hmm. For it Morizora. has been said that Morizoro would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Okay. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. Severe? Of creatures. And at long last, Morizoro granted the boy his wish, a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rockwood. Oh. Good night. Oh. That's kind of cute. Oh, scary music's back. Oh no, it's Yami again. God, that sound. Mom, is that you? Oh, I'm back in control. I'll go back to sleep. God, he's creepy. Hey. Yummy! You came back. I told you I would. So the doctor told me you were wandering around the backspace. That place is kind of like a construction zone, right, man? Seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. You don't know about Rockwin, bro. Shit's best seller. Don't. It's not just a book. It's been in our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to me and my mom when she was a kid. Ah, so you got back to your mom. Yeah, and me too. It's special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy too. The silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. 
He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one stuck in the hospital. He could leave any time but you. <laughs> you might never get to leave. That's kind of ominous. <laughs> the fuck you say? The fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, man. I'm sorry for saying that. It's okay. It's true. If it makes you feel any better, I'm stuck here too. We could be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. Oh no, someone's coming again. I think that's the night staff nurse. Sorry, man, I should go. Yami? Yeah? I hope you get better. Batman. <laughs> That Orochimaru guy is real fast. He's real fast. Yeah, mommy again. Let me drink. I'm sorry. Hi, mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Mm. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? I wish I can go to Mo. Oh, they even said it. <laughs> Mori Zora. Mori Zora. Mori Zora. And ask him to grant me a wish, but I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Now, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but. But I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. It's real. The truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it and people would sell silver for money? No, no. That's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to Morizoro's forest. A blueprint for what we need to do to meet him, Morizoro himself. But when the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that he needs something else in order to get there. Explanation point, explanation point! This is the Rakuen key. You need this to open the book. As well as the doors. The doors? My grandmother told me when you were... When we both have the book and the key, secret doors will appear and appear around you. Doors that lead from this world to Morizoro's forest. There could be doors in this hospital? Maybe those tunnels. Maybe? I don't know. And we may never know unless we look ourselves. I want you to have this key. It's very special and now belongs to you. You receive the Silver Rakuen key. Thank you, Mom. But you must promise that you'll take good care of it. Oh, I promise. I will take such good care of it, just like the book that got stolen. Okay, then. There's only one thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Marazora's forest. If you want to talk with Mom at any time, press Q. Oh, is Mom part of my party now? Bad ass. <laughs> now I got Mommy with me. I'm going to take a nap. She's going to... No, no, she gonna take a nap. No, mom, mom, you gonna take a nap. Oh, I can't make her take a nap. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, let's make, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna leave this one here because it seems like there's gonna be a lot of big changes in the game coming up really soon. So thank you for watching. If you like the button, press the button, hit the, hit the like, do the comment. I'm gonna go back.